Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Z and uh, thank you for following and subscribing to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page if you're on my Facebook page. Anyways, today is going to be a very short video. I'm just going to be talking about this uh, HDMI video capture card. So as we know, um, right now we are well at the end of our quarantine in Singapore, our circuit breaker. Uh, but during the circuit breaker period, a lot of people were looking for webcams and uh, HDMI cards. So I saw this video from Ching, um, I'll link his YouTube channel as well, about how to live stream your music. And uh, he mentioned this capture card, uh, the Elgato Cam Link 4K. And uh, it's a great capture card. I, I tried one of those before, but the only problem is if you go online and look for it right now, you realize that it is, I think it's like 200, and eight bucks cheapest is is two hundred and eight dollars, which is insane for most of us. That you know, we just want to get a simple capture card so we can connect our DSLR cameras to our computer. So I saw this uh, YouTube video from this guy called Epos Vox um, a couple of weeks ago about this HDMI capture card. This one over here. So basically, it's like a you know a Chinese knockoff and. Uh, it's very different from the Elgato Cam Link in the sense that this, first of all, this is USB 2.0. Uh, the, the Cam Link is 3.0. Um, it can input 4K video resolution but can only output uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second. Or you can also do 720p at 60 frames per second. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the specs are way lower but the price I got this for 19 bucks, including shipping. So when Epos Vox released his video about this uh, video capture card, uh, he put links to Amazon, US Amazon, and uh, eBay as well. But I realized that for us, since we're in Singapore, there's one website we can always go to and rely on, and that's Lazada. Lazada has a lot of these in stock. So as I mentioned, you can find this capture card on Lazada. So all you gotta do is go to Lazada, type in a HDMI capture card, and you'll find a couple of listings. You see you got one here for 12 bucks, uh, 15 bucks. I got mine for 19, including shipping. Uh, yeah, you got quite a number of different sellers. Uh, one thing to note is there is one that apparently is USB 3.0 instead of USB 2.0. It looks like this. Um, but some people online, they bought this one, they opened it up and they realized it's the same thing as this one. So this is pretty much the same thing as this with a different casing and the casing is plastic instead of uh, a metal casing. So, you know, unless you want this extension cable, I feel like this metal casing is a lot better. So yeah, as I said, this is going to be a quick video because I'm not going to go too in depth with this device because you can just check out the EPOS Vox video. I'll put a link in the description. Um, yeah, the only downsides I can find from this is uh, there is a little bit of latency, but it's really not a lot. And even if there is latency, you can always just like compensate for it in your streaming software. And the other downside I found from this is this thing gets hot, man. So I have no idea whether this thing is gonna explode. Um, won't be nice if it does, but so far from all the reviews I've checked out, it hasn't exploded yet. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, that's the end of this video. Once again, uh, if you liked it, please like, share. And if you're on my YouTube page, subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much for following and thank you so much for checking out this video.